Okay, so today I wanted to give something some love that I honestly haven't paid much attention to before. I've touched on it a couple times, but not in depth until today. And that is going to be basically showing you an in-depth way of how to recover files on your Mac using Time Machine. And then after that, I'll even be showing you a way that you can have another shot at recovering your files, even if Time Machine fails. So, got a lot to cover. I'm gonna do it quickly, so let's get started. So by far, one of the most advantageous features built into Mac OS is that of Time Machine. I personally use it to back up my entire Mac onto one drive, and it really gives me some peace of mind just in case things happen to go sour on me. Now I do wanna say though real quick that this video does have one disclaimer, in that while typically Time Machine is very safe and foolproof typically, it does of course require that you enabled it on your Mac first before you lost all your files. Now if that's you and you know that you've enabled Time Machine on your Mac before you lost your stuff, then that's great, you're all set. But for those that haven't, for those that know they don't use Time Machine or don't even know what it is, in the back half of this video, I'm gonna be providing you a really robust alternative that you won't wanna miss. So wait until then, but for all those people that have enabled Time Machine, here's how to use it. So lucky for us, Apple makes it extremely simple, and this is honestly one of the things that I love most about it. So of course, just make sure that the media or drive that contains all of your Time Machine backup files is connected to your Mac. The next what you want to do is navigate to the location on your Mac where your file previously was. Now for me, this is my desktop, but for you it could be literally any location that was included in the Time Machine backup when you first created it. Then once you're there, open Time Machine by clicking this icon on the top bar right here. And you'll notice that this will bring up the Time Machine interface, which is essentially a file folder of different snapshots in time of that one specific file location on your Mac. Now what you can do now is browse all of these folders, going further back with each one until you find your missing file. Now how far back you go will of course depend on how long ago the file was deleted, and of course how many times Time Machine backs up every hour, every day, every week. It will just depend on those two factors that will determine how far, how many folders back you have to go to find your stuff. Now once you find it, all you have to do is select it, then click restore, and the file will be brought back into the present. So how cool is that, right? Nice and easy, super simple, and it's saved me many, many times. I absolutely love Time Machine. However, what if you're in the second group of people that has never enabled Time Machine before, and you, you might not even know what it is, and you might be a little freaked out right now. Well, first of all, I hope you'll consider it now after watching this video because it's awesome. Uh, but second of all, what we can actually do is we can use a piece of file recovery software to our advantage and give us another shot at getting our files back. So of course with file recovery, there are no guarantees and it's definitely a lot less robust than using Time Machine, which is an actual byte for byte backup of whatever was on your Mac. But we can still use a powerful piece of thorough recovery software that can go into our Mac, pull our files out and give us the best chance of recovery possible. And for those projects, I always recommend Disk Drill. Disk Drill is by far the best that I've ever worked with. It's powerful, reliable, very easy to use, and if you wanna get started with it, which I highly recommend you do, because that's exactly what I'm gonna get into in a second, I'll provide a link down below in the description for you to download and get started with Disk Drill for free. All right, so let's go ahead and download and install Disk Drill on our Mac to get started. So once you've done that, go ahead and open it up. And when you open Disk Drill for the first time, it will bring you to something called the Data Recovery Panel, which is home to a centralized list of all the drives connected to your Mac. So at this point, make sure that the drive from which you lost your data is connected to your Mac. And once it is, it will show up in the disk list where you can select it, choose your scan method, and then click search for lost data. So now of course, this scan will take a minute and it will take a little while actually, depending on how big your drive is. So I will catch up to you once it's done and we'll continue from there. All right, so the scan has finished and now you can review the files by clicking this button at the bottom right here. Now, depending on the files you're looking for, whether it's photos, documents, videos, audio files, whatever it is, you can select the applicable category on the left-hand side here, and you can now proceed to look through all of the files that were found during the scan. So Disk Drill displays them in a very clean and very simple to navigate system where it's just organized by folder based on the type of scan that was used to find the item as well as different folders that were actually found during the scan itself. So you can identify items by name or in some case by file type. And then once you find the stuff that you want, all you have to do is select them by putting a check mark next to them. Then go down and click recover. Choose your save location. 
which by the way, I should interject here and make sure that you know that when you choose a save location, it should be different from the location that you're recovering from because we're trying to prevent overwriting the files because that will basically make it a lot easier to get the files back in the long run. So make sure that when you select a file location, it's not the same one you're trying to recover from and click OK. And then with a little luck, I now have my files back safe in my hands. So there you go. That is how to A, use Time Machine to recover your files on your Mac and B, employ a backup method just in case Time Machine doesn't work or you've never even used it before. But I do highly recommend that you do go ahead and pick up, you know, one of these, you know, some kind of external drive that you can use with Time Machine in the future to hopefully prevent something like this from ever happening again. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to leave us a like and comment down below. Also, if you have any questions or issues with this tutorial, be sure to let us know in the comments or through our contact page on our website. We always love hearing from you guys all the time and I love reading all your guys' comments. But that is going to be it for today's video. My name is Andrew and until next time, thank you for watching.